Welcome back. This is By the Book, and we are married relationship coaches. I'm Sent. I'm Sil. And today we're talking about Married at First Sight, Season 16, Episode 3. Let's talk about Dominique and McKinley. I'm okay. going to try to keep calling him Mac because inevitably I'm going to call him McKenzie. Mm-hmm. And so I, I, I don't want to get his name wrong. So mm-hmm. <laughs> this was the last couple to get married in this, I don't know, three, four episode long marriage portion of Married at First Sight. I don't know why it took them so long for this. But finally, we get to Mac and Dominique. Mm-hmm. And. Their wedding goes better than I expected. I think because they've been setting us up with the previews of how stuff falls apart with them, which I can't wait to figure out what happened because I thought it was something that happened right off the bat. Mm -hmm. So I was really surprised to see like everybody was attracted to everybody at the wedding (laughs) and it wasn't an issue. So, um... He looked, I mean, I don't think we talked a little bit about last week how it could have been a um, race thing, yeah, kind of getting in the way. And it doesn't look like that's what it was. Obviously, when he walked down the aisle, uh, he could see that there's a very biracial audience, yeah, and, and something was going on. It didn't seem to deter him. Uh, she came down the aisle. I thought she was really pretty, although I look like they did her just a disservice, mm-hmm. y'all. It wasn't fitting right. It wasn't fitting the girls right. I felt bad. Yeah. Because, it, I mean, you want your wedding dress to be perfect. Yeah. You know, and, and hers hers wasn't. She was constantly adjusting it. And, yeah. Mm-mm. I mean, look, I, one day we'll tell you the story, but I definitely had a wardrobe malfunction at our wedding. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and if my mom was not there with a needle and thread child, ooh, <laughs> I would have ended the wedding early. I was ready to go home. But I, everything was fine. Yeah. Uh, but for her, you know, just seeing her struggle with the fit of her dress and then she's like heavy at the boob area and like really trying to like get them moved in there the right way. That's messed up. It was. It was. And you... You know, you, my wife is quite right. She did have a wardrobe malfunction, <laughs> but her mom was the MVP. Boy. She showed up like, what y'all need? <laughs> so it was all good, though. So, yeah, um, she, on the other hand, I thought, OK, well, maybe she's not going to be attracted to him. Mm-hmm. But she was, or at least she said she was. And it seemed so. You know, she said that she thought he was attractive. She thought he was handsome. I think that's the word that she used. She yeah. said she liked kind of like the scruffy beard that he had going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they talked after the ceremony, um, the age didn't seem to be a barrier no. for either one of them. And um, yeah, it looked like it was going okay. Now, it was interesting, and I guess because, like she said, she's been raised in the South, she was concerned about, like, what the racial vibes and tension may be with his family. Yeah. So, when she went, I think she talked to, talked to his mom, right? Yes. Not his grandma. His okay. mom and his sister. Okay. And she was kind of just asking where they were with the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Kind of tiptoeing around the subject, but making it clear that obviously she's not the same race as him yeah. and she wanted to feel accepted. Mom pivoted from that situation. Really quick. <laughs> you're, be- you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, she shifted right off of it. Uh-huh. So I couldn't tell if like she was uncomfortable with the subject matter in and of itself or if she just didn't want to say, you know, she didn't have anything really nice to say, so she wasn't going to say anything. Maybe. But, you know, she said she was lovely. She kept going on. She talked more about how she would have preferred for her son to have more of a traditional... Courtship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have that. So, Mm -hmm. you know, that was, I guess, a disappointment to her. Yeah. Or a concern. Yeah. Which I I think is fair. That's that's very fair. Uh, But it's unfortunate still that uh, Dominique didn't get the answer that I think that she really was looking for from her. Mm -hmm. And that is, we don't just discriminate, you know, Um, and we don't look down on people for 
being a, a diff, a being of a different ethnicity, you know? And so only thing we're looking for is how you treat our son or whatever. So that's, I think that's, that, that, that was probably like more of the answer yeah. that she was wanting to get. Um, but you know, she, she just pivoted, you know, right off of that. So I'm sure from Dominique's standpoint, as well as ours, it was just like, well, are you okay? Yeah, she, 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 yeah. she, you know, you can be a beautiful, lovely person, but are you okay with your son marrying outside of your uh-huh. race? You know, are you okay yeah. with that? And, and we never got that answer. Right. And, and I think for her to shift to something else that was also kind of negative, it didn't kind of bring that warm vibe to yeah. the situation. You know, if she pivoted off of that and went to, I'm just so happy that he's getting married. Mm-hmm. You know, he's been in a couple of bad relationships and I really want to see him in a good one. And this is something he wanted so bad. So I'm excited for him. You know, if it was like that positive vibe, mm-hmm. then maybe it would have been a whole different feel yeah. to the way that conversation went. Um, she didn't say she felt bad about it, but I felt bad about it for her. Yeah. So yeah. now her mother, on the other hand, is a complete puzzlement to me like i i don't understand and it's not not <laughs> anything about race per se it's yeah. just that like on the one hand she seems like a mature mother yeah. of an adult child mm-hmm. and then on the other hand she's like still a kid and i'm trying i'm like what's wrong with her mm, i haven't figured like, it out either yeah you know, uh, what, what, first of all, what kind of, what, what, I should say what kind of mother, but what mother <laughs> would actually sign your, sign their child up for this? Yeah, it, that was weird. Um, I don't know. Even the story that she told at the reception, yeah. just some of the things that she does is bizarre. Yeah. Not the least of which was her conversation that she had with Mac mm-hmm. where I mean, this was in her confessional, fair enough, but where she's kind of asking him these questions and then in the confessional, she's like, yeah, well, he seems nice, but Jeffrey Dahmer seemed nice. Mm. And all of the, um, what she said, all of the mass murderers, they mass murder serial they're, they're nice. And I'm like, why would you, you don't bring up Jeffrey, <laughs> ma'am. Just, I don't this is on TV yeah. like you can't say stuff like it's just certain stuff that you do not say like you're talking about worrying about his mom and folks being racist his mm-hmm. grandma being racist and look what you just said yeah I I can't excuse that yeah you I, could think it but you don't say that you don't say that out loud yeah I, again I don't understand a per- the same person that signed your your daughter up, you know, for a, a a process like this. Now all of a sudden, now you having all these concerns, you know, about what type of man that you signed your daughter up for. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get her her where she's coming from. She's she's at one side of this spectrum and she's at the other side. Yeah, it's of like it. she's playing and a I game. Don't get it. You can't play both ends. Yeah. You know, you on one side of the fence or you on the other side of the fence. Yeah. You sign her for this process. Oh, she's so ready for marriage, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And then she gets a guy and now you want to kind of grill him. Yeah. And and be super suspicious. I, pick no, a struggle. I know. Like, yeah. I, that was with night. I mean, I guess she should have never signed her up for the process in the first place. True. Daughter should have done that on her own. Yeah. And then she could have played the full role of the concerned mother. Yes. Now she just seems like weird. Yeah. You know, she's pushing her. She's talking about her having grandchildren. Yes. Yeah. Like, she's going she's back. She's only twenty five. Like, give her a break. Yeah. She's a, she, she's a both polar opposites, and I don't know where she lands on any of this this stuff. And I thought for a second, well, maybe she found out how old this man is, you know, because he's almost ten years older mm-hmm. than her daughter, and so maybe that's could be fueling some of it. But I don't know. She was, she was like just the, over the she top. She dates with it. older older men anyway. I think she told him as yeah. they were sitting down after the ceremony. Mm-hmm. 
that she had dated someone older than him. Yeah. Which, personally, for me, is problematic in and of She's too young. Yes. To be with somebody 10 years. Yeah. If she's senior. 40 and he's 50, that's different. It's but different. When, but when you're mm-hmm. in your 20, someone older than you that much, you know, it, 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 it is different. But on the other end of that, he said that he dates young people who are young and don't have jobs. So it <laughs> caused him into question for me, like, where is his head? Where is his head space? Where's his confidence, maybe even, mm-hmm. if he feels like he needs to date people so far his junior that they don't even have like a life established for themselves. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Both of them are, are strange. Yeah. And her mother is the strangest. I, I don't know what to think about them. Yeah. We obviously know at some point they fall apart. Now, whether they reconcile after that. Or not, I'm not sure, but crazy as her mother is, I'm not surprised. (laughs) No, I I don't know. I am so curious. I would love to hear you guys' theories on what happened. Or maybe Mm -hmm. y'all got some extra insight from some some insider info that we don't have yet. But I I just, I want to know what broke them down because they seem way more okay with one another than I was expecting based yeah. upon what's coming down the pipeline. Yeah, me too. Me too. I was expecting to kind of like see um, a little bit of what possibly could go wrong. There are a lot of red flags with their relationship mm-hmm. already, right. you know, but I usually married at first sight is really good about foreshadowing what's going to come. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't pick up. Well, on we it. know what's gonna come. We just don't know why. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I'm curious if you guys know. I mean, I guess we're open to spoilers as well. Mm-hmm. But if you just want to theorize with us, like we are doing, yeah, then you know, drop your comments below. Share that as well. So, like I said, let us know your thoughts. Like, share, subscribe. We will talk to you guys soon. Bye.